The Duchess of Sussex, that's Meghan to you and me, has launched a new lifestyle brand entitled, wait for it, American Riviera Orchard. Oh. It's very, very Montecito, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Uh, apparently she's going to sell a variety of household items. I wish you bluebirds in the spring To give your heart a song to sing And then a kiss but more than this, I wish you love. Well, there you go. That tells us nothing at all, <laughs> does it? Absolutely. It's all grainy and out of focus. Mm, and very nice strange. Nice music, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, that must be the sort of theme of the brand. Yeah, uh, it's a like... bit a la Gwyneth Paltrow trying to do oh, the yes. goop thing on you, isn't it? Just yes. Sell yeah. you anything, basically. You want to buy one of her. Candles, would you? No. Um, anyway, critics have slammed Meghan's poor timing. Why, you may ask? Because she launched the site just minutes before Prince William took to the stage to honour his mother at the Diana Legacy Awards. Yeah, and if you remember also, Prince Harry was also attending the awards, but on video, um, and he... They, they didn't even do it at the same time. Um, his video came on after Prince William had already left the whole ceremony. Yeah, let's talk to royal expert Pandora Forsyth, who joins us now. Good to see you, Pandora. What do you make of all of this? Morning. Yeah, bad timing. I thought that uh, as soon as it happened last night, I thought... Surely this would be an event in both of their calendars. Let's say that they don't talk and they don't share calendars anymore because they're not two separate royal households. I would have thought that the Diana Awards and the Diana Legacy Award last night would have just been something that would have been crossed over. I'm really, really surprised at this because Harry was also involved in it and has been involved in it for many years. I mean, it was only a few years ago he was up on stage with his brother William. I mean, how times have changed, hey? But yeah, really bizarre timing. Um, and uh, we know that she was going to be launching a lifestyle brand in terms of what it might have been then, well, I guess now we know you can you can buy homeware items and cookery items if you so wish. Um, and this will tie into uh, uh, Netflix as well, where we'll probably be seeing Megan cooking, if that takes your interest too. So, I mean, you said poor timing, but was it deliberate? Um, a big project like this would have had a date in the diary for many, many months. And I just do not see in the Sussex world, how that wouldn't have come up with a bit of an amber flag going, no, this is this is the date for the Diana Awards, which I just find really strange how that would have passed Harry too. I, I, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm quite shocked um, by it, to be honest, because it was not just the fact of uh, a Kensington Palace gig. This is, this is Diana's legacy. So I'm really, really surprised. Yes, yeah. it never looks good, does it, um, at the moment? And I mean, the sheer fact that Harry and um, William were both at the awards, uh, but, you know, a, a world apart. And even the timing there was interesting in that Harry's video didn't come up until William had already left. It, it really doesn't, um, it doesn't look good at all, does it? It looks very unhappy. It doesn't feed into the rumours of the rift, does it? Um, the fact that William didn't want to stick around for, for Harry's speech and, and actually had to leave the building before he started speaking. And he was on a virtual event. You know, it's, you know, he could have just left the room for a few minutes and come back when the speech was done. But he made a point of leaving the building and Harry spoke. I just think it's a very, very sad state of affairs at the moment. And I just don't even see how they're going to get past this because this is to do with their late mother. And if they can't agree on this, then how are they going to agree on, on virtually anything? Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just all seems very odd. And I say that, and the, the fact that all this happens when she's... It's, it's where are they getting the advice from on this, Pandora? Because yeah. anyone with the tiniest ounce of common sense would say, well, launch this the next day, and it, it's, you know, it's not going to be yeah. as... It's not going to be as controversial. I mean, maybe they wanted to make sure that they were hitting headlines. I mean, that is one way of doing it, and people say, you know, 
all press is, is good press to a certain extent, but I don't think they would have wanted it this badly. Surely, surely. I mean, you wouldn't. I mean, if you were a PR advisor, it doesn't look in, in, in very good taste, does it? I understand wanting to distance yourself from the royal family. And I actually understand why Meghan has launched this brand, because they need to be independent. Uh, you know, she had the TIG before this, before she met Harry and then shut it down uh, when she was going to marry Harry. So I'm not surprised the lifestyle brand's been launched. I am extremely surprised at the timing. I'm very surprised at the fact that, that the advice that they've been given that you should do this at this time, even if it was to create headlines, which it has because we're speaking about, it just doesn't look in very good taste. I think even if you're in, I hate to say it, but the Harry and Meghan camp, even you can, can surely be like, come on, this really doesn't look very good, does it? Mm, okay. No, it really doesn't. Pandora, thanks very much indeed. Well, if you're desperate to buy something, you have got website, no luck. Yeah. This is the website so far. Well, that's it. That's Nothing it. More. There's nothing else on it, but you can enter your email oh. and join the wait list. Oh. Or waiting list to you and me. It's and a strange way to do it, isn't it? To launch um, a lifestyle brand, with but no not, products. with nothing to show for it. But apparently, yes, cookware and... I don't know, marigolds or something that you can buy in it. I don't know. Mm. Oh, there's, there's, they, they need cooking. a cameraman who knows how to actually get focus. <laughs> don't they? Because why is it all wobbly and out of focus? I don't know. It's the style, isn't it? Yeah. It's all if you're very... watching at home, please don't throw anything at the TV set because no, it's not us. <laughs> them these lifestyle brands i'm very cynical of whoever does whoever does them actually i find them I mean the, the whole what's her face what's she called again Who? gloop woman oh, uh, uh, um... uh, gwyneth paltrow gwyneth paltrow all that yeah. oh, very yeah. odd it's very strange but they're very into that in america aren't they they're buying a, you buy a lifestyle don't you yeah. um it can make you a fortune if you do it right we'll yeah. see well. How it goes down with Megan. But they do need to put stuff on the website if yes. they want to sell. Yeah, I just want to know how much stuff costs. Will you join uh, the wait list? No. <laughs>